Good morning. My name is Jerry Corey. I'm the executive director of the Ingham County Sobriety Court Foundation. And good morning. My name is John Nicolucci, and I'm the president of the Ingham County Sobriety Court Foundation. We're here to talk to you about an upcoming event that we have at the Country Club of Lansing on October 20th at 7.30 in the morning. We're bringing in a nationally known speaker this year. Yes, Wes Huddleston. He's the former CEO of the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. He's a dynamic speaker, and we are thrilled to have him this year. We are so fortunate to have these courts in Ingham County, and we have graduated over, well, we think almost a thousand participants over the course of time. Um, this is a call to action. People say to me all the time, well, how can I help addicted people? How can I help alcoholics? When they come through a sobriety court, this is their last strike. This is probably their third arrest, second or third arrest. And if they do not go through this program, they are going to go to jail or die. Jerry's absolutely right. We have four different sobriety courts here in Ingham County. Uh, and our purpose as a foundation is to assist those courts because uh, unfortunately, these courts, uh, within their fiscal budgets, they don't have enough money to pay for the various expenses that arise as these folks go through their treatment programs. And so we find, as a foundation, it's extremely important to assist these courts. And the reason is, there's three reasons that always come to mind. One is, we are saving money. Uh, it is much less expensive to help these people go through the program, graduate, successfully so that they are able to put their lives back together and they reach sobriety. Two, we are saving lives because uh, unfortunately these folks before likely were driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol and so we are making sure that that's not happening at least with regard to these participants. And finally we're putting their families back together. Once they become sober, uh, these folks almost always, the first thing they want to do is make sure that their families together want to make sure that their employment situation is back to where they want it to be. They're putting their lives back together. I attend a lot of the graduations, and at every graduation, each graduate has to say something. And the, almost always they say, thank you for saving my life. If I hadn't done this, I would be dead, or I would not have my family, and I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. And a lot of them also say, I didn't think I could do this. It's a very tough program. It takes a year to two years to complete. Every court requires slightly different things, but most of them require meeting with your probation officer weekly, meeting with the judge weekly, meeting with AA or NA, going to um, do a drop or blow, as they say, to check your alcohol level or your drug level every day. Um, your license is usually suspended, so you have to get some assistance from someone. And a lot of things get in their way. Financially, this is very expensive, and they may need money for such things as a dental appointment. They may need money for a bus pass, or a gas card, or groceries sometimes, rent sometimes, utilities. It's very individual, their need, and it's not covered by the grants that each of the courts gets to support them. So please join us. We look forward to seeing you there at Country Club of Lansing, Friday, October 20th, 7.30 a.m. You can make a difference.